Sean Hare, known as Sean O'Hare in his professional wrestling career, reportedly died in his home on September 9 at age 43. Police tell TMZ Sean was found in his bedroom, beside his bed, with a rope tied around his neck and connected to the bedpost. Sean O'Hare dead former WCW and WWE wrestler dies at 43 Sean spent six years competing in World Wrestling Entertainment and World Championship Wrestling. Sean Hare, known as Sean O'Hare in his professional wrestling career, reportedly died in his home on September 9 at age 43. Police tell TMZ Sean was found in his bedroom, beside his bed, with a rope tied around his neck and connected to the bedpost. Interestingly, Sean was the first major WWE star to cross over into MMA he made the jump in September 2004. Along with competing in MMA, Sean also dabbled in the world of professional kickboxing. Later, he became a hairstylist. WWE extends its condolences to Sean Christopher Hare's family, friends and fans on his passing. Hare performed under the name Sean O'Hare, and was under contract with WWE from 2001 to 2004, the organization told HollywoodLife.com. Former WWE and WCW wrestler Billy Kidman sent out a tweet on Wednesday, September 10, honoring Interestingly, Sean was the first major WWE star to cross over into MMA he made the jump in September 2004. Along with competing in MMA, Sean also dabbled in the world of professional kickboxing. Later, he became a hairstylist. WWE extends its condolences to Sean Christopher Hare's family, friends and fans on his passing. Hare performed under the name Sean O'Hare and was under contract with WWE from 2001 to 2004, the organization told HollywoodLife.com. Former WWE and WCW wrestler Billy Kidman sent out a tweet on Wednesday, September 10, honoring Hare performed under the name Sean O'Hare, and was under contract with WWE from 2001 to 2004, the organization told HollywoodLife.com. Former WWE and WCW wrestler Billy Kidman sent out a tweet on Wednesday, September 10, honoring Former WWE and WCW wrestler Billy Kidman sent out a tweet on Wednesday, September 10, honoring September 10,